to the second episode of the Multiphysics channel. And today I'll be talking about the console app builder, which I call console's hidden gem. And you will see why in a minute. So my name is Joaquin Gajardo. Uh, I'll be your host today. I am from Chile and uh, some, a little bit about myself where I have a, a double degree in uh, environmental and industrial engineering. And I'm a part-time scientist at EMPA. And, uh, Meanwhile, I'm also doing my uh, a master in environmental science at EPFL. And I'm currently writing my thesis at ETH on the topic of deep learning and uh, remote sensing. As you can see here in the picture on the right, uh, I really like to plan. And uh, well, I'm famous for my homemade banana bread uh, that I'm told is really good. And uh, here are some facts about me. And there's one lie in there that you can figure out yourselves. <laughs> So what is the console app builder? First of all, uh, it is a built-in console feature. You can find a uh, right in the home tab in the model builder of console. And um, it's also a canvas for creating like very pretty desktop apps, all powered by your console model, like this example that I have right here. And it's also a wonderful possibility, I think, for extending console functionality. If you know a little bit of, of coding of Java, you can really do crazy stuff. You can uh, enhance your, your model to stuff that it's not maybe currently available in the model app, in the model builder. So you can kind of upgrade your console models. So how can it help you? Um, first of all, it can help you to organize your code. Um, you can um, put the most important parameters or features about your model, you can condense them in a nice, neat format in your app, uh, which I think it also allows you to improve your workflow. It can uh, diminish a bit the, 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 the risk of making a mistake, for example, or if you're trying or want to test something in particular, you just put those parameters in the app, you put your graphs there as well, and you can compute them and iterate really fast and see what's what's uh, going on, what you want to see with your model. Uh, it can also help you to resume your work easily, I think, after a couple of months. If you have your model there, you haven't touched it, and you go back to it after a couple of months, then it's pretty easy if everything is on the app with the most important stuff uh, to get back to work on it. <clears throat> um, second of all, uh, it can allow you to share your work with your colleagues and stakeholders pretty easily. You can put there in the app, um, what you want them to see, what the, so they can focus on the, what is important of your model and not get lost in the whole big model of the model builder that you that you have. It can also help you to educate people. You can use it for your conference, conference uh, conferences, seminars, work, workshops, and lectures. Um, you can share your work, your amazing work in console with everybody. Put it in a nice little, in a nice uh, condensed format and then uh, let people focus on what you want them to focus and not get lost on the big model. And lastly, it can help you to enhance your model. It's, as I say, it's like having console on steroids uh, because you bring Java to the table. If you know how to code a little bit, as I said, you can do really uh, crazy stuff or it, it, it can, even if you don't know how to code in Java uh, yourself, like it was my case, I just look online like a couple of stuff and it can allow me to automate uh, repetitive stuff uh, to do over 3,000 simulations, um, which each of them take, took like uh, 10 minutes, and I, I had to run them all sequentially. And so it was more than 200 hours of work, and I could automate that pretty easily with the app builder, uh, which otherwise I wouldn't have done probably. So even if you don't know how to code, uh, you can do uh, simple to advanced stuff there, and it can uh, help you to um, kind of upgrade your console model. So let's see an example. Um, I'm going to show you an uh, example uh, I call the ETH Apple app that I did for this course at ETH for uh, showing the students. Um, and I'm also going to talk about the basic building components of the model app builder. So let me go out the presentation and go here to console. And uh, well, here in the model builder, as I so, as I said before, you can go here to the left, application builder. Here you're in the application builder, and uh, I'm going to show up uh, all of this uh, later. 
but let me first uh, show you the app, the already finished app, to so how you, you get a sense of how it looks like. So here it is. It was, let me explain, like this was just an, an apple that the students could could see. Uh, like, um, well, here we, we use the, the heat transfer model. So, and, and it's convectively cooling, uh, cooling the, the apple um, with uh, boundary conditions and uh, and uh, the students could change here, like the the, ref, the reference temperature, the temperature on the outside of the apple, the the airspeed, like a very adjusting some parameters. And for example, here if I change the hair, airspeed, you can also see the the right values how it changed the renal numbers, the, the convective heat transfer coefficient, and some stuff. Um, but you really wanted the students to just focus on just a single handpicked parameters and not get lost on the whole thing of uh, console model builder and all the variables and parameters that are there. And you, here you could also uh, change the mesh size. You can, uh, down here, you could um, watch some metrics, like some simple metrics, the like core temperature, surface temperature, the average temperature. And here you can see the animations and the graphs once I, once I compute them. Um, when, and here, of course, they could compute. It's the same button that you have in the console model builder. I'm not going to compute it here because I'm not going to have enough time. But um, anyways, um, here you have it, the same things as if you console builder, but some handpink stuff that you want your audience to focus on. And they can have the same power as they do in the console model builder. You can compute your things. And every time that you, yeah, that you have a new parameter here, it's directly linked to the model builder. So let me show you. How uh, how is it done? How it's uh, built? What are the basic building components? So the main component of a, of an app is, are the forms. The forms which are here in this tab on the left, forms are like uh, slides, are like uh, blank slides where you can put stuff. You can put objects on it. You can put uh, in a form. You can put, uh, for example, input fields, buttons. You can put graphics, text labels, file import, you name it. There's a lot of objects here that are quite nice. You can put drop-down lists, really a rich, uh, rich uh, plethora of stuff that you can use. For example, here I have uh, in design parameters, this is where, I call, where it's called a form collection. It's uh, several forms that I have here that are ordered, uh, organized in a nice way. You can put them like as, as lids here, as tabs, or uh, sections, for example. So let's let's go down into one of these forms to show you how it looks like. They're all listed here, but I have them open here. Um, so this is the boundary and initial conditions. This is just some input fields that uh, the students could, could change. There's a drop-down list here as well. Um, but let's say if you want to add something else, it's very easy. You just here, just put insert below. Here I put, uh, let's say, another input field. Let's say that I want also the students to care, uh, to, to be able to, to edit, I don't know, let's see. For example, the, the output time step here. You can put it there, and here you can put your text label, and you put time step, and that's all. And then you can yeah, run your app, and you, we're going to see the changes there. But it's really easy to add more stuff to the app. Than, here you see. So it's really easy to add more stuff um, to the app, and everything is connected to uh, the app builder, which we saw here. Like we have this parameter, it's all linked to the app builder. Here, this one, fruit initial condition, is linked to my parameter in the app builder. So these are forms. And uh, the next thing that I want to show you is methods. Methods is also really important. It's, uh, it's like functions. Uh, that uh, after you click a button or something, after the, the user click a button or it selects something, a drop-down list, you want them that to activate something, to do something on your on your uh, model. So, for example, let's see here in the main buttons, we have this button that is a compute button, and afterwards, <clears throat> after people click on it. You can choose uh, uh, one command or a sequence of commands to be run. For example, here I have the compute study command that is the same one as in the model app builder, but I also want them at the same time when they compute after the simulation is run, 
I also want some plots to, to, to show up. It's very simple. Or when I have the export results, uh, I have some, uh, not some built-in command, but I have some method that I created myself. Uh, I know this one not, but anyways, yeah. There's, there's some methods that um, you can create yourself. Um, for example, this uh, ones that I have here. Um, so remember in the app when I showed the, this, uh, that you could have a different mesh, uh, when they selected the drop-down list and they click one mesh, this is what happens in the back. Like it's just, if people click on that, on that uh, option of the drop-down list, this is what happens in the model app builder. You run that mesh and then you plot it. Um, that's all. So in the method is where you, if you know a little bit of Java, you can bring external Java libraries. You can get really advanced if you, if you want. Pretty sure you can even host a game here because <laughs> Java is a very good language for, for gaming, for making games. I don't know. You can do really advanced stuff, but even if you don't know how to code, like it was my case, I didn't know how to code in Java. Um, you can find stuff online. You can find, ex find examples in the console, console documentation, in their web page, in their, uh, yeah, they have some other examples with apps. And you can also use this record code, fe record code feature, which is super helpful, I think. Um, then when you click it, you just go into the model builder, you click here or there, you whatever you want to change. And then you see it in the code, like, uh, like here you would write exactly what I did in the, console mil uh, in the console model builder, but it's equivalent in code. So it's pretty useful feature. So I think I'm running out of time. So I'm just going to go back to the presentation. And uh, yeah, and the, la the last thing that I wanted to talk about was declarations, but it's really not that important. It's just like a variable. It's something like when a person clicks in a button, it holds the state of that variable, like true or false, or when a drop-down list, it stores the, the option that they selected. So then you can do stuff with it. So what are the highlights? Um, so this app builder allows you to create desktop, pretty de desktop apps with your console model. And as a side note here, um, it's probably, it's, it's likely that in the, in, in the upcoming time soon, maybe we'll have the console compiler license in EMPA, and this will allow you to compile your app and uh, make them run as a, um, a standalone app. So you can share this with, you are going to be able to share this with people that don't even have a console li license, which is pretty, pretty nice. I think. <clears throat> and why did I call this a hidden console hidden gem? Well, as I said, it can allow you to organize and enhance your, your model, and it can allow you to share it and educate people with it. And it's all there in console, it's built in, it's, uh, it's uh, everybody's rich, it's quite intuitive to use, pretty easy. Um, it's a pity that no, not so many people know about it or that I know of that they use it, but I encourage you all to use it because it's super helpful. And this is uh, go, uh, comes down to my take home message, which is a console app builder is your ally and can help you improve your models and upgrade your console uh, game and modeling and modeling in console. Um, so how do you get started? Well, um, I put together this uh, one page um, one page documentation, the summary with some useful links that I use myself to learn how to use the console app builder. It, some, it has also some uh, some of the doc official documentation of console. And you could, you're gonna find this uh, a bit later today. We're gonna upload this uh, with this file in our webpage, the Multiphysic channel. And I use also use this opportunity to invite you all to the simulator. Simulation and Sensing Day next month at EMPA, where we hope to have, to bring together all the modelers at EMPA that use different uh, softwares or programming language. So yeah, we really hope to, to see you there, all numerous. And uh, yeah, that was all for today. Thank you very much for your attention and for watching, and I'm open to all your questions.